round two. This is the day after I, uh, I had a nine silver hunt. And my last target, I think, was a 59 Rosie. I found right about there. But I couldn't even tell what it was. But anyway. Some people have asked what Don't worry, I'm not going to subject you to this like. again. I just made a video right about my settings, and it was like almost six minutes long. So on to the hunt. Above here is 22. Okay, my first dig of the day is about two and a half, three inches. This is a clad dime. Don't know what year. Uh, it doesn't matter. 80-something. But anyway, I don't pass up clad dimes or quarters, either one. Okay, I can't show them all, but I show, I try to show as many possibles as I can. This is a possible iffy signal because it's given a high squeak. Bad numbers, but anyway, I dig stuff like that. The high squeak came from five inches and is a 1960D Memorial Penny. Okay, at eight or more inches, probably just about eight. My first Wheatie of the day, a 1944, no mint mark. Well, I've got my first Memorial, my first Wheatie, my first uh, clad dime, and now my first clad quarter, times two in the same hole. I love coin spills. Thumbs up for coin spills. Well, I haven't wasted uh, battery life or SD card life, but I've dug, I think this is my fifth Weedy, and I'm showing this because it looks a beautiful like golden color. It's a 1940, but I just thought that was neat. At about four and a half inches. Okay, I got a dime signal that I knew it couldn't be a dime because the ferrous numbers were too high. Anybody that knows a mine lab or whatever, it was 16 to 18, dropped back to 14. I dug it anyway. And no, it wasn't a dime, but it was three pennies. 1910, 1941D, I think, and a 1960D memorial. So that shows in the early 60s that they was, these were dropped. And that was a good about four inches, four and a half, so I'm gonna keep digging four and a half. Okay, it's been two hours and 20 minutes since I started, and this is what I've got. Uh, whatever to five ten memorials uh, but whatever some clad change nine wheat cents and I finally got my first silver coin of the day <clears throat> that's insane hopefully I'll get more than one but I'll settle for one that's fine and it is it's a Roosevelt and it's a lost Roosevelt. Okay, it's found again. <laughs> like grass on there. Oh, 1956. 56D. All right, cool. I'll show a picture. Okay, after that Rosie, I dug a 1930-some weed. I didn't turn the camera on, but I had two targets in the hole here. I dug them both up. And it's 1944 and a 1945 wheat scent in the same hole. I love wheat spills. Give me a thumbs up for that one. Another penny signal, about five inches. I dug it and it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's heavy. I have to look on it to see if it's got any silver markings on it. But it's Catholic, uh, religious pennant. It says 1930 on the bottom, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's the year it was made. Seems like I've run across this before, but it's cool enough find. Hmm. It's like a penny signal, only it's cinco centavo. American coin hunting, more toward the middle. Remember how I said I dig all uh, diamond quarter signals. I dug one that come up as four inches over here. It was a little bit deeper and it's not clad. I don't even know if it's a quarter really. Uh -oh. Looks like it might be a standing liberty. Get some water on it. 
Huh. I don't see a reeded edge. Not sure what it is, but it comes in, it tank came in as a quarter. Oh yeah, it's a standing livery. With I don't think I see stars all the way around. And I don't it's a no date. <laughs> but it is a standing liberty. Oh, that's cool. All right, coming a good day. It's been three and a half hours I've been out now. Awesome. Another one of those signals that I always dig. And it's probably a memorial or wheat. But it's saying 46, which is quarter. 445, which is dime. And different numbers the other way. So let me dig it up and see. This time, it was a wheat penny. A 1956D. But I'll dig them every time. Okay, I've got a pretty good signal here, too. Well, it jumps to penny to quarter. Penny, and it's, I'm sure it probably is a penny. This way it goes all the way up to 50, which is not good. <laughs> but it goes like on a half dollar too, so I gotta take that. Just out of curiosity. Okay. Run across it with my coil. And it showed a quarter, but it could be a clad one. It's about six inches right there. Sounds like a penny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It's just kind of what I thought it was. Ah. Not one, but two winny pennies. Winny winny. 1970. Quarter signal. All I could say is holy smoke, man. It's a huge round. 50 cal, I believe. I got one of those bullet signals. I dug down and it's a silver. It's another Rosie. It's a 1953 D. Cool. Up the top is 23 Memorials. So I'm surprised I found more wheats than Memorials, but I did dig more than four inches on each one. I didn't dig a penny signal under four inches. Dimes, yeah. But anyway, there's 23 Memorials, 16 dimes, 250 caliber rounds it looks like. Um, 16 clad quarters and a single Citavo without a, without counting that it was 583 in in clad change then here's the ugly that I dug I don't know why I bring it home I don't know why people want to see it <clears throat> and there is 25 wheat cents Two silver Roosevelt dimes, a standing Liberty quarter, a silver plated religious pendant, and the top pendant is just pot metal, but I thought it was cool.